Hello, thanks for joining me. My name is Chris Hopkins and I am on the planning team helping the City of Newport update the Comprehensive Plan 2020. And today I'm going to go over goal number two, meaningful connections, and provide a little bit of background, uh, give you some more insight into how we arrived at goal number two. First of all, uh, what does meaningful connections, goal number two, meaningful connections mean? So this means that Newport will be a strong community that takes pride in its history, appreciates and celebrates the many cultures that make up our community, and maintains our diversity through frequent dialogue and interactions. We aspire to retain the individual identities of our neighborhoods and business districts, as well as establish a cohesive and unified identity for Newport in a way that enhances our sense of community. We will achieve meaningful connections by focusing on these seven core objectives. Uh, to preserve and, and restore historic places, landmarks, and architecture, uh, by providing a compatible balance of both the historic building types as well as modern building types, by promoting quality design and public art, uh, fostering community activities uh, in order to engage people of all ages, increasing our communications and collaborations among both neighborhoods and among neighborhoods and business districts, elevating the arts, cultural, and entertainment sec sectors of, of the city to foster community pride, and then to develop and promote the city's identity in a way that embraces its diversity as well as it unites everyone together um, under this city. Uh, Newport has deep connections to its history and rich architecture and development patterns. Uh, we've heard from a number of people during this planning process um, and understand uh, and celebrating our roots helps us to appreciate how and why the city looks the way it does. Uh, and then moving forward, we want to, to continue to preserve our heritage and history. Another major asset then uh, related to that is, are the number of historic districts found throughout the city. Almost two thirds of the housing stock in Newport was built before 1940, meaning it's 80 or more years old. And we're very fortunate that a significant amount of the architecture is still intact. A number of homes have been restored and many of the neighborhoods are, are now actually designated as either a local and or a national historic district. And furthermore, there are nine places that have been designated as historic sites. It's important to retain not only the historic architecture and sites, but also residential and housing diversity that is found throughout these historic districts. Another aspect of um, uh, meaningful connections is celebrating the city's heritage through arts and culture. Having an understanding of the heritage and history lends character and uh, resonance to a place. And we celebrate our heritage and history through public art and cultural events. So you can see here on this slide, uh, one of the examples of murals that have been uh, painted throughout the city. And by continuing to celebrate the city's unique heritage through public art like this, uh, urban design and other placemaking efforts will help nurture and elevate our creative, cultural and iconic identity. When we conducted this, uh, the online survey a few weeks ago, we heard from a number of people that, no surprise, that one of the city's main assets is its location. And the location within the greater Cincinnati region plays a big role in terms of who chooses to come to and invest in, live, work, play within the city of Newport. And also one of the major assets is are the number of longtime businesses that still operate in the city. And having a number of these longtime businesses is appreciated. They provide local flavor through the music that they provide, the entertainment, and the types of retail services that are provided. And, and those assets are very important to maintain, preserve, and um, retain. 
There are also other current conditions and trends that are important to pay attention to uh, thinking about how we plan for the future. And some of those are covered in the next few slides. One of them is the fact that uh, Newport has nine different neighborhoods. And as you can see on the map here, they're, they're identified. Um, and several of these neighborhoods do have neighborhood groups that meet on a regular basis that uh, communicate with the residents through social media. But one of the things we found out is that not all residents identify with, quote, the official names of the neighborhoods. And uh, for example, the, on the west side, Two Rivers One, Two Rivers Two, and Buena Vista are commonly referred to as the West Side Coalition. So more can be done than we think to strengthen neighborhood identity. Also, we know that there are neighborhood differences. Uh, the, the neighborhoods throughout the city have differing housing characteristics based on when they were built and who, who they were built for, different sizes, different price points, different styles, different, uh, and, and then a different tenure. So some areas of the city have more uh, rental properties and others have more single family homes uh, owned by their occupants. Uh, and one of the things we know is that people tend to live in places that both meet their housing needs and where they share similar demographic or cultural characteristics. So with that understanding, there are uh, uh, several areas of it where the city can focus uh, improvements for the near future. Um, some of the comments that we received uh, related to connections, creating and improving connections among neighborhoods, are suggestions for hosting more neighborhood events, um, providing music and entertainment, um, as well as the need for more connections and more communication between neighborhoods. Uh, addressing the digital divide so that all residents and businesses have quality access as a way of maintaining connections to one another. And also there is a need to view the city as a whole. So we know all the neighborhoods all have strong identities, but we need to celebrate the city as, as one as well. And then furthermore, to, there's a need to uh, socialize more and work collaboratively between the neighborhoods. Uh, also, we identified a few uh, focus areas, which are place-based, meaning that they can be mapped and shown. Um, and the two that are applicable to meaningful connections are public gathering places and place-making opportunities. Uh, public gathering places are finding ways to provide more opportunities in a public setting for people to uh, socialize, get to know one another. Uh, and then placemaking opportunities uh, are ways of utilizing public art and design to enhance the identity of the place. And so we know that there can be gateway improvements and there can be branding efforts uh, among the various corridors, business districts, civic landmarks, et cetera. So uh, with that short overview of meaningful connections, now we would like to hear from you and hear what you think uh, are some of the most important elements related to meaningful connections. What do you think when you think of meaningful connections? And if you have any suggestions or ideas on the best ways for Newport to build connections between and an appreciation among residents, neighborhoods, and local businesses, and then lastly, did we miss anything? Is there anything else you would like to tell us as it relates to meaningful connections? So with that, I invite you to go back to uh, the webpage for uh, goal number two. And there is, um, there's a, a tab you can click on to fill out, in, um, the, fill out the survey that includes these three questions. And then also there's a link in case you would like to download this presentation for viewing at a later date. Thanks again for joining us.